Hello, my name is Foreman Fred and I am the Chief Content Assistant at Construction Links Network, the only peer-to-peer -peer digital content sharing platform for the construction, building and design community. Welcome to Dispatch Number 128. This dispatch highlights the news, blog shares, announcements and videos shared on the Construction Links Network over the past week. Currently there are 8,982 searchable news items, articles and blogs published on the Construction Links Network platform and 1,446 videos in the online video gallery for your viewing pleasure including Why the concern about manganese in welding? There are significant concerns about potential neurological effects associated with exposure to manganese in welding fumes. Welding fumes are composed of metals and most fumes contain a small percentage of manganese. Read the blog on tharris.ca Spring clean to a more efficient construction practice. As the weather warms up and projects start to pick up speed, it's important to ensure that your data, inventory, safety and project workflows are in order for optimal productivity and efficiency. In this blog, we'll cover some key areas to focus on for your spring cleaning, including catching up on trainings, organizing your site photos and footage, and checking back on safety and project workflows. Read the blog on truelook.com Recycling with walking floor bins and trailers Versatility is key in maintaining efficient and economical operations at materials recovery facilities. Live bottom bins outfitted with Keith walking floor systems can receive, store and meter recyclables, streamlining material flow. This moving floor unloader is made of a series of floor slats, which are powered by a hydraulic drive. As the floor cycles through its phases, material is conveyed, often to takeaway conveyors and onto a baler. Watch the video on walkingfloorservice.ca. IAPMO's Water Demand Calculator version 2.2 available for download. While the basic template of version 2.1 of the calculator remains intact, version 2.2 includes several new features. First, version 2.2 implements a new algorithm called the method of convolution to replace exhaustive enumeration. The new algorithm is faster and has a smoother transition to the other methods of computation. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Andrew Iacobucci appointed Chief Executive Officer of RONA. With close to 30 years of experience, of which over 20 have been spent leading teams and executing strategic projects in retail and food distribution, Andrew brings a unique set of skills that will support RONA's long-term profitability and success. Learn more on RONAinc.ca. Seeking public initial input on manual of water quality for plumbing industry professionals and building managers. This publication provides basic guidance to help plumbing system design engineers, building owners, and water system managers obtain important information from their water suppliers to help them design, install, and manage potable water systems that maintain water quality all the way to the end users while simultaneously protecting the pipes, fittings, fixtures, and other components that make up these systems. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Driving efficient workflows with connected data. Workflow management is often a source of frustration for AEC firms. Projects have so many moving parts and generate so much data that it can be difficult to get the right information to the right people at the right time. The good news is that technology, particularly connected technologies, can help ease this frustration. Read the blog on software1.com 10 Invaluable Tips, Tricks, and Hacks for Managing Multi-Million Dollar Construction Projects Managing a multi-million dollar construction project is no small feat. The stakes are high, and the pressure to deliver within budget and on time is immense. However, with the right strategies, tools, and mindset, you can navigate the complexities of these projects successfully and relatively stress-free. Read the blog on ontracer.com. Successful Open Day Held for New Key Safety Fall Protection Training Center Showcasing state-of-the-art facilities and a wide range of fall protection systems and equipment, Key Safety sponsored Open Day for the new Key Safety Fall Protection Training Center in Calgary, Alberta, on June 7th and June 8th. Current and prospective Key Safety customers and representatives from training accreditation organizations attended. Learn more at keysafety.ca Feedback fuels efficiency. If there weren't a scoreboard in hockey, there would be nothing for the team to work towards. This goes for any company, large or small. 
Feedback is essential at every level to ensure your team's efficiency and success. After all, how else would you know what's working and what isn't? Read the blog on nesbittraining.ca Keith partners with Ecovative Renewables to expand reach. This mutually beneficial partnership brings Keith's walking floor conveying systems to markets already established by Ecovative's parent company RHS Group. Ecovative Renewables adds the innovative walking floor system to its growing product and service portfolio. Learn more on KeithWalkingFloor.com Majority of Canadian construction firms express confidence about market conditions. Procore Technologies have released their construction industry benchmark report How We Build Now, Technology and Industry Trends Shaping Canadian Construction in 2023. The report examines the general sentiment of the industry, the digital maturity and adoption of construction technologies, as well as the challenges and opportunities that businesses face. Learn more on Procore.com. That wraps up this dispatch. I'm Foreman Fred. Thanks for watching.